the 31. Again, they went for it on fourth down on the opening drive, and I think they're going again. I mean, why not? I mean, Dan, Dan Campbell faked the punt in his own 20. Okay, Clemson's at their own 29 right now. They need the 30 to pick up the first down. Moffa, the running back behind Klubnik. Play clock winds down to five. Oh, trouble with the snap, and it's picked up by the box. Charleston Southern with Trayson Fowler takes it inside the five, and Cade Klubnik, the quarterback, made a touchdown saving tackle. Again, with the miscues for the Tigers. Yeah, that, that just cannot happen, Drew. Especially with all the ball security issues you had a week ago against Duke. You'll see it come, comes off the edge a little bit there, kind of blows it up in the backfield. And then right there to pick up the football is Trayson Fowler, nearly takes it to the end zone. So Charleston wow. Southern starts with first down at the one. I mean, credit Kate Klubnik for making the tackle to save the points. He did the same thing on an interception Monday at Duke. Well, now this is where you give it to Moore. That's what they do, and J.D. Moore walks in. Touchdown, Bucks. Number 10, J.D. Moore with the touchdown. So it's deja vu all over again for Clemson. An offensive miscue puts their defense in a tough spot, and Charleston Southern takes advantage. I can't imagine what Dabo's thinking on the sidelines right now. You take a, take a look at this. It's just a speed option. And J.D. Moore is just going to walk into the end zone. It's a Charleston Southern team that scored one touchdown all of last week against D2 North Greenville. And they've got six midway through the first quarter as Babish adds the extra point. We are tied seven minutes in. That's a little bit surprising. Defense of the Buccaneers come up with a turnover. And maybe a little surprising. Seven all from Death Valley.